Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this super easy, amazing, and squishy crochet hat. You can make your hat in any color combination you like, just using two strands of yarn. I'm using size four worsted weight acrylic for mine. So you could choose colors that are very similar, lighter or darker, or two different colors to kind of give you that medium middle kind of look, a little bit speckled, a little bit heathered. We're also using cute little pom-poms. You can just grab these from Amazon or of course make your own or you don't even need to use one if you don't want to have a pom-pom on the top of your hat. You can make them any size, small, medium, or large. I show you in the tutorial how to make the different sizes, also in the written pattern, which is available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. You'll need about 70 to 80 grams of two colors of yarn to make your hat. I am using a eight millimeter crochet hook to make the hat and a smaller hook, doesn't matter what size, to help get that pom-pom in later. You'll also need a needle for sewing in your tails. You'll need one stitch marker, especially if you are new to crochet, a pair of scissors. A yarn threader helps, but not necessary, but if you have one, go ahead and grab it. And you'll also need a tape measure if you are making these for somebody else, just to gauge the sizes. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off, and let's get started. With your two strands of yarn, make a slip knot any which way you normally do. You don't have to worry about leaving a longer tail right now, just long enough to sew in with a needle later. Pop that on to your hook. For an adult medium hat, we are chaining 33. So chain 33. If you are new to crochet, when you're crocheting or when you're chaining, don't leave your yarn right up at the hook part. Slide each chain up to the top. And don't auto-correct if they're a little bit loose underneath your hook, just leave it. It is much better to have a loose hook, a loose chain and work into a loose chain than it is to have a tight chain and really struggle. So looser is better. And if you struggle with a tight chain, you could also go up a hook size, although try to just do a relaxed chain with this nice size eight. So up onto the big part and don't auto-correct. So there is my chain 33. Now we're gonna be working in to our back loops just so the beginning of our hat looks the same as the end. It'll be nice and pretty and our join will look almost invisible. So just roll that chain to the side and you will see these back loops or these little camel bumps along the back. The first one is right underneath our working yarn, right there. And our second one is here. So we're just looking for these camel bumps going along. We're gonna skip two. So we're skipping the one right underneath the working yarn and we are skipping the second one right there. We're gonna be working in to the third. So wrap your yarn and into the third chain. Just slide those back loops onto your hook with your finger just to get them going. One double crochet into the third. And now one double crochet into each back loop all the way along the chain. So you can pause the video, just keep working along, sliding each of those back loops onto your hook. Don't feel bad if you're using your finger to do it. That's how I do it. it works out just great. And I will meet you when you get closer to the end. So don't finish your chain. We want to have three of these chains left or three of these back loops. And I'll meet you when we get right there. So we have our three chains left, our three back loops. We're gonna make one single crochet into each of those last three chains. So just slide your hook into each one and make one single crochet. This is gonna help our hat not be so bulky up at the top. It'll reduce what we have to cinch in without compromising on the pattern. So that finishes row one. To start row two, this is the repeat for when you're starting on the single crochet side. So to start on the single crochet side, chain two, one and two. This counts as our first stitch. 
turn your work. So now we're going to skip that first stitch right there by the chain. We're skipping that one. We're going to work in to the second and third, and we're going to make one single crochet into each, but only in to the front loops. So we're just picking up that front loop. There's two strands, because we're using two strands of yarn, but just the front loop in the center of that V and making our one single crochet. And into the next stitch as well, just right up in to get that front loop only, one single crochet. Now we can pop a stitch marker just around those front loops of that single crochet we made. So when we're working back along, we know that that is where we, our single crochets started. If you are an experienced crocheter, you don't need to put that stitch marker in, but it does help if you are new so you don't panic and make double crochets all the way to the end when you're coming back along the next row. So now we're gonna work in to the next front loop. So these are our front loops right here. We're gonna go into each of the front loops and we're gonna be making a front loop only double crochet into each front loop all the way back along our chain. So wrap your yarn and just that front loop on your hook, one double crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way along. So I just hold the V or those pretty little Vs on my finger and just push my hook to my finger. So that's gonna bring it up right in the center of that V and those are your front loops your front loop only. So one double crochet into each front loop all the way along and I will meet you when we get closer to the end right over here. At the end of your row we have this stitch left so instead of going in to just the front loop we're going to be working in to the full stitch. So just to finish off this is going to be the brim of our hat so we're going to be working underneath both uh, front loop and back loop of that stitch. So you'll have four strands of yarn on your hook because we're using two strands. So underneath both of those loops, we're gonna go under and make your double crochet. So a regular double crochet to finish off the row. Just like that. And that finishes row two. And to start a row on this double crochet end, we're gonna chain one. So this is the repeat. Chain one and turn your work. And into the very first stitch right there, we're gonna start our front loop onlys into the very first stitch. So one double crochet front loop only into the very first stitch. And one front loop only double crochet into each stitch all the way back along this side. So you can pause the video, keep working along. One front loop only double crochet into each stitch and I will meet you when we get back to our, where our stitch marker is or those last three stitches at the skinny end of our hat. Now when you have your three stitches left, our stitch marker is there. We put it on those front loops so it's not gonna be in our way right now. So into that front loop, we're gonna start our first of three single crochets front loop only. So there's one, two, and now into that chain we're going to go right here to make our last single crochet. Right into that chain, so our last single crochet. So that finishes the row. And now to turn and come back, chaining two. So that counts as our first stitch. Turn your work. So we're not working in to that stitch because our chain counts as that first stitch. We're going to work in to the second and third. So into the second stitch, front loop only single crochet, and into the next front loop, front loop only single crochet. And now go ahead and move that stitch marker up. We just want to put it in to those front loops of the stitch we just made right there. So just pop that stitch marker in and now you can continue all the way along front loop only double crochet into each stitch. So pause the video, keep working along and I'll meet you when we get to the end of the row to make that last proper double crochet right here. At the end of your row we're going to make a real double crochet so under all those strands, the real strands of that stitch, a full double crochet. So not into front loop only, we're gonna go under 
those four strands or both loops, both strands of that V, both sides of it, and make your double crochet. So that leaves the brim of our hat nice and secure. And then we're gonna chain one, turn, and we're gonna make our first front loop only double crochet into that very first stitch right there. So wrap your yarn and into the very first stitch, your first front loop only double crochet. And then front loop only double crochet into each stitch all the way along until you get to the skinny end of your hat or where that stitch marker is right over there. Now this is what we're gonna do when we get to the skinny end of our hat or where those single crochets are. So I finished my last of the double crochets. I'm right at that stitch where my stitch marker is. So into the front loop where my stitch marker is, one front loop only single crochet. Also into the next stitch, front loop only single crochet. And also into that chain we made, just gonna go underneath one of those strands at the front and make my last single crochet. So we're always ending with three single crochets in a row, like that. And now we're gonna chain two, one and two, turn your work, skipping that first stitch, and we're gonna make one front loop only single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So skipping the first and into the second front loop only single crochet and into the next front loop only single crochet. Move that stitch marker up to the front loops of that stitch you just made. And now into the next stitch, we're just starting our regular front loop only double crochets. So now you can pause the video, keep repeating this pattern all the way along until your hat is the width or circumference that you want it to be. To make different size hats, all we're gonna do is change how many rows we are doing. So for this small size, I did 22 rows. Medium are these two, and those are 24 rows. And large is 26 rows. If you actually were an adult with a large head or were crocheting for someone with a large head, you could even do two more rows, 28 rows. But it depends on how you like your hats to fit. I like mine a bit spacious, just comfortable, not really very tight. So for me, I like this medium size here. But you can make yours any size, just always end on the tall side of your hat and just any two rows. So you can stop anytime, row 20, row 22, row 24, row 26, or row 28. So I hope that helps you size your hat. So you'll be building a shape like this. It'll be long on one side and kind of tight and curled on the other. That is exactly what we are looking for. So don't worry if yours also looks like that. To count your rows, you can count when you get to the end of a double crochet row. So you've just finished a double crochet row. And then you'll see this little line, the little rib, that means two. So we can count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. So I did 26 rows for this hat. It would be about an adult large. The nice thing about this design is this nice edge we made with that chain one to turn makes it nice and firm, it's a little bit strong, but it also is not gonna be at the top of your head, it's gonna be right up here. It'll be nice and relaxed around your face, but up here it's gonna hold its shape and keep it a bit snug. So that is how you can count your rows. If you're making it for yourself, you can also put it around your head. It should be quite snug at this edge right here. So now we are ready to join up the side. We have to sew this together so that it matches the rest of our pattern, like an invisible join. So just lay out your yarn, both strands. You want four lengths of that seam we're gonna do. And then just go ahead and cut your yarn. 
You can grab these yarn threaders. You get, I think, a hundred of these little metal guys. This is the fat end. At the other side, it's a bit skinnier for thread. This is for yarn. The skinny end, I just sandwiched with a hot glue gun between two buttons, and it makes a really, really, really great yarn threader. You can make about a hundred of these for five dollars. So, really fun to do. Normally, I would be using a fancier needle, but it is the same color as the yarn. So I'll just be using one of these old-fashioned plastic ones just for showing you how to do this join here. So bring it through both strands. We want what we're doing to join to match what we've done for our whole hat. So we're going to be joining with the two strands. So just make sure that your yarn is pulled through that last stitch you made. You do not have to do a chain one, but just pull that yarn through so it is coming out of that last stitch that we made. Get yourself situated. Kind of fold your hat so you can see where we are joining one side to the other and we're going to start right here. So this is where my yarn is coming from. I want to attach it right up into that corner. So that yarn is coming from one side and into the next. That is our first join or just where we're going to start. Now into the first stitch, I'm going to go under both four strands the front loop and the back loop of this panel closest to me, and just the front loop of the one above. And we're just going to be whip stitching this. You want to pull it snug, but not too snug. You'll get a feel for it. Into the next stitch underneath front and back loops of the panel closest to you, and the one above, just the front loop. And whip stitch. We're always going in the same direction, so always going into your work from down and out from the top. So three front loop, back loop, front loop on your hook and give it a pull. And we're going to do that all the way up. So front loop, back loop, front loop only. From where we are going away from us every time. That gives us a really nice finish and it'll really match the rest of our hat, the rest of our stitches. So front loop, back loop, front loop. You can pause the video, keep working all the way up along your hat. I will meet you when you get closer to the finish right up here. When you get closer to the top, just keep working along, joining them up and then work into the last stitch. This no one's gonna see at the top of your hat. We wanna do that twice. And the second time, just put your hook or put your needle through that loop and give it a pull. That is gonna make a little bit of a knot. So if we pull on this yarn, it's not gonna tighten that seam we've just made. And then there is our join right there. So we can barely even see it. it looks fantastic. So now we are ready to cinch the top together. So I'll show you how we do that. We have those little spaces in and around where those that chain is, or just that little loop. We're just gonna work in and around those loops. So just back and forth like a basting stitch. All the way around. So just into those spaces, in and out, back and forth, all the way around your hat. And then we'll get back to where our tails are. Now we are ready to pull on that yarn and cinch the top shut. Nice and snug, especially because you're using two strands of acrylic yarn, if you are. You can really pull it very snug, really, really closed. Now you have your tails, and while you have it pulled really snug, we can do a regular knot. So just knot that yarn, pull it really snug, knot it again really snug. Now we can go ahead and sew in these tails. So to do that, two tails, these short guys, I'm just going to poke inside my hat. I'm also using a sharp tip needle now. These are all, everything I'm using is actually linked in the description box. So the short tails, we're going to use that to hold on our pom-pom. So I'm just going to poke one in right where it is, just to the inside, and pull it to get my needle back. And I'm going to do that with the other strand, but I'm going to move this to the other side of the circle or other side of the center. 
So over here, just a little bit away. It doesn't matter exactly where. So I have two strands inside my hat. Those two guys right there inside the hat. And now these two long ones, we can just sew in. We don't need these at all. So I can cut them a bit shorter and we can just sew these in. Because they're knotted, it's super easy. We don't have to stress. So there are the tails all sewn in. The two are still on the inside of the hat. We need those later for the pom-pom. Now from the inside of the hat, we wanna take a smaller crochet hook and look for the center. It doesn't exactly matter, but where you think the center is, probably somewhere right in there. I'm just gonna poke that hook to the top. Make sure it looks like it's in the center from the top as well. Take my cute little pom-pom and just look for that elastic bit right there, and pop that onto my hook. Now I'm gonna bring it through to the other side of my hat on that crochet hook. And now bring a strand of yarn through like that. Now we can just tie this like a little shoelace. So a cute little tie, cute little bow. Adorable. You can trim your tails. You want it to look a little cuter. And there is inside our hat. So we can remove that pom-pom if we wanted for washing. And there is our super cute hat. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video up there and stay hooked.